Hi guys, so I have recorded this video for you kasi hindi tayo makakapag-meet for today. So this discussion is all about the um, module number 4, week number 4, um, all about the imaging and design for online environment. Please be aware na meron pong announcement at the end of this video. So please finish the video. That is all and hope you enjoyed the, and you learned more about this discussion. And one thing more, meron pong quiz at the end, uh, next meeting natin. So that's all. Thank you. Image. Okay, so what is an image? An image is an, a representation of the external form of a person or thing in art. So, we have two types of image. So, meron tayong 2D at saka 3D. So, when we say 2D, it means two-dimensional such as photograph or screen, screen display. When we say 2D, meron siyang two dimension, which is the width and the height. So, just like on this example, we have the width of this heart. And then the height of this heart. Kung mapapansin natin, pag sinabi natin 2D, it is a flat surface. While we have the three-dimensional image or what we call the 3D image. It, one example here is the statue or a hologram. And here in the pictures that I have searched, we have here a 3D um, image. So, bakit siya naging 3D? Meron tayong width. Meron tayong height at meron tayong depth, yung lalim niya. Okay? Then, this image may be captured by optical devices such as cameras, mirrors, lenses, telescope, Microsoft, or even our um, eyes and or water. Okay? So, we have here the graphics. Graphics are visual image or design on some surface such as wall, canvas, screen, paper, or stone to inform or illustrate or entertain. So, marami tayong iba't ibang klase ng graphics. What are those? First, we have the photographs. We also have the drawing, line art, graphs, typography, numbers, maps, computer graphics, engineering drawings or other images. Okay, so those are the different examples of graphics. Now let's proceed to the image formats. So meron tayong image formats na na-discuss na last time. And one of the one of those is JPEG. When we say JPEG, it means it stands for the Joint Photographic Expert Group. This is commonly used method of loose lo, Lucy um, compression for digital image. So, kapag mga digital cameras, um, cell phones, ito yung ginagamit na um, default um, image format, which is the JPEG. Another one, we have the PNG or the Portable Network Graphics. It is a raster, a raster graphic file format that supports lossless loose data compression. So, pag sinabi natin PNG, the difference between PNG and JPEG, si PNG, pwede natin tanggalan ng background. Yung um, kapag sa Photoshop, if you are going to look for a background with this, um, yung checkered style na pattern, ibig sabihin yan, wala siyang background. Transparent background siya. While, kapag sinave mo to isang transparent background in JPEG format, um, the default background will be color white. Pero if you are going to save it in a PNG format, um, transparent background siya. Okay? Next, we have the GIF or the Graphics Interchange Format. It is a loseless format for image files that supports both animated and static image. So, hindi porket um, gumagalaw siya at ay hindi siya gumagalaw, hindi na siya GIF. Okay? Ang ano lang sa GIF is that um, if it is a flat or a static image, hindi siya gumagalaw na image, ang kanyang image ay pixelated. Bumababa yung kanyang resolution. Six. Yun, tama, tama. Resolution. Bumababa yung resolution ng isang image if you are going to convert it into GIF. Yan. 
Next, we have the BMP. So, ito naman, kabalik tara ni GIF. Si GIF, yung resolution niya mababa, while the BMP or the bitmap is a rasterized graphic image used to store bitmap digital image. Kahit i-exume mo ng mas malaki yung isang image na bitmap, makikita mo na maganda yung resolution ng kanyang image at hindi siya pixelated, hindi siya napipixelate, basta-basta. Okay? So, that is for the bitmap. Then, we have the EPS, which means the encapsulated po post script. This is used in vector-based image in Adobe Illustrator. Together with the SVG or the scalable vector graphic, um, it is an XML-based vector image for format for two-dimensional graphics with support for interactivity and animation. So do, this two image format is used for vector images. So pag sabi natin vector, it is more on uh, mga lines, etc. Then we have here the .3ds and the .fbx. So si .3ds, it is one of the file formats used by Autodesk 3ds Max 3D. So, it means it is used to create a three-dimensional images. So, ito yung ginagamit ng mga um, engineer, ano bang uh, mechanical engineer kapag gumagawa sila ng mga, um, for example, um, drafts na ipepresent sa kanilang client, mga architect, gumagayan, gumagamit sila niyan. Okay? Then we also have the .fbx. It is an, an exchange format in particular for interoperability between Autodesk products and other digital content creation software. So parehas silang gumagamit ng 3D um, software or 3D rendering software. So those are the different file image file format. Let's proceed now to the layout. Let's discuss first the definition of layout and then we're going to discuss the nine principles in layout and graphics. So first, ano muna yung layout? Layout is the part of graphic design that deals in the arrangement of visual elements on a page. Kadalasan sa isang layout, example, if you are going to create a website, meron tayong pinatawag na layout. Ano ba yung nasa taas natin? For example, on this website, ano yung ilalagay mo sa taas? For example, banner. The top portion of your website will be the banner. The lower version of your website will be your footer. And then, itong center or yung middle will be your content. Ano yung ilalagay mo sa yung um, banner? For example, you have here the logo. Another, we have here the uh, yung mga slogans, the name of the company. And then dito naman, you have the affiliates, yung mga affiliates ng iyong um, company, something like that. So that is what we call the layout. So meron tayong um, nine principles in graphics and layouts. So we have the first one on the basic principles of graphics and layout is what we call the balance. The, va the, va the balance, this is the visual weight of object, texture, colors, and space is evenly distributed on the screen. So on this example, we have here the balance and this is lack of balance image. So meron tayong two types of balance. The first type of balance is what we call the symmetric balance. Pag sinabi natin symmetric, the order of elements are ev ev evenly allocated on both sides of pages. The visual weight is dis distributed evenly either vertical or horizontal. So kung makikita natin, if you are going to um, check the line, kung part dito sa left side at saka sa right side are evenly distributed. So that is symmetric. The other type of balance is asymmetric. The order of different objects of the same weight on each side of the page, um, there is an artistic and different intents on the other side of the page. So pag sinabi natin asymmetric, still balance pa rin siya, yun nga lang. Iba yung design dito. On the other hand, iba din yung design sa kabilang side. Pero still, they are balanced. Parang sinabi natin, isang kilong bulak versus sa isang kilong 
um, bato. ba? Diba? Still, balance sila. Magkaiba man sila ng um, texture, still pareha silang isang kilo. Okay? So, that is asymmetric balance. Okay? So, another one example, we have here the symmetric balance and the asymmetric balance. So, ba? Diba? Balance yung feather at saka yung bato. Yeah. Next principle is emphasis. An area in the design that may appear different in size, texture, shape, or color to attract the viewer's attention. So, kadalasan si emphasis, if you are going to look under ng fashion, ba? Diba? Kung saan, kung kunwari, um, malusog ako, ba? Diba? Kapag malusog ka, ano yung pipiliin mong damit na mag -e emphasis sa sa'yo? Pipiliin mo ba yung mag -e -em may, may emphasis sa chan mo? Kasi yun yung malaki sa'yo. Siyempre, di ba hindi? Kung saan yung part na gusto mo maipakita or mabigyan ng emphasis, yun yung lalagyan mo ng design, na more design, or yun yung bibilhin mong t-shirt na more on design doon sa gusto mo ma-emphasis ma na part ng body mo. Okay? So, doon pumapasok si emphasis. Another sa isang website, for example, sa um, sa isang e-commerce website, kapag may sale sila, ano yung pinahan, nilalagyan nila ng emphasis? Di ba yung sale items nila? And then, doon sa other side nila, is yun yung port ng mga um, additional um, items na hindi naman sale. So, doon pumapasok si emphasis. So, if you are, you are going to look on this image, so, this one is the emphasis uh, um, object, and then the others are um, the regular um, objects. And like this one, they are all in balance. Wala silang, walang em naka-emphasis sa kanila. Now, okay, so, ito yung example ng emphasis sa fashion, sa, um, sa suot, sa, sa damit. Ayan. So, ang ina-emphasis dito is yung um, balaka. Emphasis niya is yung dito banda sa kanyang um, shoulder. Yan. So, that is an example of emphasis. Another one, we have the movement. This visual elements guide the viewer's eyes around the screen. So, pag may nakita tayong movement, ano bang itsura nun? So, one example here is this one. So, this graphics um, defines movement. So, meron pag galaw. Okay. Yun, ganun lang kasimple si movement. Katulad ng, for example, image na nagsasalin ka ng, kunwari, magtatagay ka sa tropa mo, pipicturan mo, o yan. So, that is my movement. Diba? Yun. Next, we have the pattern. It builds course, it builds familiarity and organized design for trouble-free viewing. So, best example here is yung mga bed sheet. Yun yung nakikita ko. ba diba? Sa mga bedsheet o kaya sa mga scarves, meron tayong tinatawag na pattern. So, ayan yung best example sa pattern. Then, we have the repetition. It makes the science aware. It brings consistency and flow to the design. So, um, pinagkaiba ni pattern at ni um, repetition. Sa repetition, kung ano yung makita niya, kakulay man yan, shape, dapat parehas. That is repetition. Unlike si pattern, meron siyang ano, um, pattern talaga. <laughs> Layout, something ganon. Okay? Now, si repetition, best example here is yung hagdan. Kasi ba diba, repeat, repeat, repeat lang naman yan. And then, syempre, yung sa may mais. Ayan. So, repetition. Puro kulay. Yellow na ganyan yung itsura. Okay? Then we have number six, proportion. It conveys stability. It involves scaling of various elements to create a coherent design. So ito yung kadalasan na ginagawa natin. Kunwara, pupunta ka ng, ng Singapore, di ba? Meron dun yung sa lion. Lion ba yun? Tiger. Yung lumalabas ng tubig. That is proportion. Sample like this one. Okay? So yung isang object pinapalaki, yung isang object pinapaliit. That is proportion. Then we have the harmony. It brings elements closer. Yes? Andre? May sasabihin? Andre Karatao? I don't know. Okay, next we have the harmony. It brings elements closer and it utilizes familiar traits of design elements and puts them into focus. Wala ko masyado makita na um, best describe sa harmony kundi ito puto at dinuguan. 
um, kumakanta kayo. Tapos merong um, alto, merong nakabahu yung ano, yung word, yung ano tawag dito? Yung boses nila. Tapos pag pinagsama, may harmony. Then we have the, yan, then we have the contrast. Yan, last two. So, we have the contrast. This addresses conflicts and it highlights the difference and puts an emphasis to what is more important. So, for example, sa contrast is yung black and white images. Diba? Black, white. And example here, eto, contrast. So, meron tayong um, women at saka men, then they are both um, different um, colors. So that is for the contrast. And lastly, we have the variety. It rips attention, it adds flavor to the design, making it more interesting and engaging. So pag sinabi natin variety, in this example, mayroon siya iba't ibang, um, what do you call this? Shapes. Unlike dito, um, parang isa lang yung pagpipilian mo. Pag dito sa variety, madami kang pagpipilian. Example here. Mga botones, pare-pareha silang botones, yun nga lang, marami kang pagpipilian na botones na kulay. ba? So, that is an example of variety. So, yun. So, now, um, announcement, we have the quiz number 3 on Wednesday. This will be uploaded on Wednesday also until 6 o'clock, ay 7 o'clock p.m. And then, discuss na natin si performance task. Okay? So, for the performance task number 4, Still class, ha? Uh, ito na, regular, ano na to, um, deadline, which will be on Saturday, which is January 31. 30 pala, 30. Yan. So, for your performance task, number four, using any material, create an image or drawing, pwede kayong mag-draw, that would project at least four, of the following principles of graphics and layout. So, on this um, performance task, pwede kayong mag-drawing sa papel and then um, picture ninyo, submit ninyo. Or, pwede naman kayo gumamit ng mga softwares, for example, Photoshop, Canva, yung mga ganyan. Pwede kayo gumamit, tapos kailangan, you have to create, um, you may download different objects that that you are going to put together to create a nice um, output or drawing that will reflect the following principles. So, pwede kayo gumamit ng another object, ay, another software. Kung hindi kayo magaling mag-drawing, pwede kayong gumamit ng um, softwares. Okay? Hindi, hindi, hindi yung magda-download kayo ng image sa Google and then nakita ninyo, nandun na yung four principles of layout, pasok na siya, yun ang isasubmit nyo. No, dapat, ano, um, kailangan sariling gawa. And then, ito po yung example ng inyong um, output. So, for your performance task number, for example, um, the, the seven principles of art, for example, lang naman, we have the balance, for example, ito yung, um, what do you call this? Trees and trees, ayan. And then we have the rhythm and pattern on this um, scarf. We have the emphasis on the color. We have the contrast together with the color. White yung background, then dark yung, um, yung tao. We have the movement. Ayan. So, yun yung example natin. Ulitin ko ha, pwedeng drawing. Pwede naman you are going to combine different objects into one um, image. Parang pag-iisahin nyo na sila. Para hindi kayo mahirapan. Or kung gusto nyo, bigyan nyo ng much effort, mag-drawing kayo. Kung magaling kayo doon. So, you have the choice. So, that is all for today. Thank you very much. At kung may tanong pala kayo regarding dito sa performance task number 4, you may uh, message directly sa aking messenger. Okay? So, that's all for today. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.